Hello, I'm uh, Professor Paul Specht, and I'm going to show you how to make a, an isometric drawing of the small uh, red truck example that I sh showed you in the uh, uh, first module. This is module number three, isometric. I'm going to start drawing. And I'm Professor Birdwell, and just as a reminder, this is a side view of our truck body, just to give you the quick dimensions that Professor Specht will be working with. Our truck body is six inches long, it's three inches tall. The front uh, face is one and a half inches. The hood is one and a quarter inches. The top um, is four inches. We have a window that is 1.25 inches in diameter. No, I'm sorry, one inch in diameter, 1.25 inches down from the top, and 3.5 inches from the back edge. This is the center, right? We have two wheel wells that we're going to approximate as half circles. Each circle is two inches in diameter. The back one, the center, is one and a half inches from the back edge, and they are three and five eighth inches apart, right? It also has two headlights. The headlights are circles that are half inch in diameter, and they are a half inch from the top edge and a half inch from the side edge, which I've not drawn in this, uh, this depiction. All right, the first thing that Professor Specht has been doing here from the side for every isometric drawing that you want to do is draw a horizontal line, which is on the bottom of his sketch. Right. You then want to plan out in your paper space where your sketch is going to go. Right. Knowing that we're doing a truck body drawing here, right. you then need to draw a vertical line off center. Right. <clears throat> then you need two 30 degree angled lines. This will be your x and your y axes. Right. He's also using a 30-60 triangle. If you don't happen to have one, you can approximate two 30-degree lines, but they need to be approximately 30 degrees. He's also got a T-square, which he's using, because all of your lines need to be parallel to one another, right, for those that are parallel. And you also need to have vertical lines. They all need to be straight. Right? So do get yourself either a straight edge or a T-square of some sort and a nice pencil. Right? So he's drawn a footprint down at the bottom. You can see his X, Y, and Z axes are labeled. Right? He's then drawn a construction box using the vertical edges at each corner of the footprint. He's raised those up. He's drawn the front plane. That is the X, Z plane. Right? Within there, right now, he's marked off the dimensions <clears throat> for that front plane, which is, houses the two headlight spaces. And that line is just drawn, marks the top edge of the front of the hood. All right. <clears throat> He's now marking off the dimensions to draw the side edges of the hood. All right. Now, it's important here to mark off, uh, to mention that you are measuring and dimensioning everything. You should not guess where your features go. It's not an approximation here. You are measuring and <clears throat> putting down your features to scale all of your placements. All right. Now, Professor Specht is doing a one-to-one -one drawing here, meaning that a one-inch measurement is a one-inch feature on his sketch. And his sketch, when it's done, will be the exact same size of his actual uh, object. But we're, we could work in any units that we want. We could make this a two-to-one drawing, meaning that it's a twice as large that of the object that we've got. Or we could say that we're working in units, where every unit is the same size on each axis, but a unit could be an inch, like we're doing here, or a unit could be a centimeter, or it could be a meter, or it could be a mile. Right? So you choose the scale that you want to work in, but it's important to note that for an isometric drawing, all units will be the same on each axis and you have to keep the same scale throughout your sketch. So Professor Specht is marked off and is making all of his final lines nice and bold. And his edges here, he's blocked off the edges for the windshield, the hood, and the front 
plane of the truck body. If you need to erase any of the witness lines, you can do so with a nice eraser. Try not to use the little red eraser on the back of your pencil. It does not usually do a great job. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we're going to be marking off the dimensional placements for the driver's side window. Right? Remember that window is one inch in diameter, and it's 1.25 inches from the top edge and 3.5 inches from the back edge of the truck. Right? So he's drawing a line to mark off the 1.25 inches from the top edge. He's now going to mark off where the 3.5 inches from the back edge will bring it. He's going to drop a vertical line. Right? This will mark off the center point for that driver's circle, which will be the window. While he's doing that, I'm going to show you how you will, will construct circles both in multi-view, which will be a true circle, or when you're drawing circles at an angle. Now quickly, I'll do this demonstration. I have a roll of tape here. When you look at a circle straight on, it looks like a circle. It's a true circle. When you look at it at an angle, it's no longer a circle. It becomes an ellipse. right? For oblique and isometric drawings, this is what we're going to be drawing. Now the process is the same. right? You're going to start with a square. Right? Your circle is going to touch at four points of this square. The midpoints, which will be the tangents of the circle. Right? And then you're going to have two diagonals for this square. And I'm drawing the, the true circle here, which will be straight on. But the process is the same, which Professor Specht is doing at the same time for the isometric. Right? The circle will also touch four points, which is approximately 75 to 80% on these diagonals. Right? Now your circle, you can start to sketch in here. We know it's going to touch the tangents, the midpoints. And remember I said the ones on the diagonals are going to be an approximation. Right? And this is the process for sketching out your circle. Now you see Professor Specht is doing this for the driver's side window, for the driver's window. And I'm doing this for a true circle, which is straight on. The process is the same. Right? Now, for a feature that has depth, you'll have an inside face and an outside face, an inside plane and an outside plane. Drawing the outside plane is the first step. You then need to measure how deep is that inside plane, and then measure that, that depth, which he has just done, and then draw the exact same feature at an inside plane. All right, which he's shown you here. You then replicate, in this case, a circle at that inside plane, draw that out, and then only part of that will be visible through that outside plane, all right? because you're looking in from the window, and only part of that will be visible. All right? That part of this line that is visible, you make nice and bold. The rest of this is not actually visible through the window. So you either don't draw it, or you just leave it faint, all right? as like your witness lines. They're there, but they're not as dark and bold. Only that which is visible is nice and bold, which you can see there over on this side. And that is how you get this depth for features that have depth. So this, is, this will be true for holes. This will be true for things like the wheel wells, for windows, um, and the headlights for this drawing. So Professor Specht is now marking off the edges of the wheel wells, which will be the next features we're going to draw. Remember, these wheel wells are two inches in diameter. We are going to mark them off as approximate half circles. All right? The process here is the same. Instead of drawing an entire square, you're going to start with half a square. All right? Here would be my two diagonals. We know that the circle is going to touch at, in this case, three points on my square. 
and two points on my diagonals because I'm only drawing a half a circle, right? And then I'm going to sketch in the approximate circle here, like so. And again, I'm drawing this as if I were looking straight on orthogonally. Professor Specht is drawing this on the isometric face, right? So this is at an angle. Remember again, this would be looking straight on versus at an angle. This becomes an ellipse. So he's now just finished that outside plane of the wheel well, right? The bottom edge of this semicircle has two vertical lines to connect the wheel well to the bottom edge of the truck. The, the wheel well has some depth, so you have to measure that. This is in the x dimension, so he's measuring off how much depth there is. Do this at the bottom edge of the wheel well and then along the top features. Right? You then need to sketch out the same semicircle for the inside plane of the wheel well, <clears throat> which he's doing now. And then again, just like we did for the driver's window, only that which is visible you will make nice and bold. The other portion of that semicircle which is not visible, you either do not draw or you just leave faint. So Professor Specht has marked that off. This first portion is bold. That next portion, he's left with dotted dashed lines just to mark off that that is the invisible portion of the inner part of the wheel well. Right? You then connect the inner and the outer planes together. That is a nice, bold, visible line. And then, of course, because the inner plane of the wheel well has a inside edge, you make that nice and dark as well. Right? And that completes the wheel well. <clears throat> He's also marking off there is an axle, uh, uh, axle hub. That he's marked off here. And again, there's a small circle there for the axle hub. All right. The last portion he's going to draw here, we're going to mark off one um, headlight hole. Remember, the headlight hole is a half inch circle. It is a half inch down from the top edge of the hood, and is also a half inch in from <clears throat> that front edge. So he's marking a vertical line, a half inch in the x dimension. He's also marking um, a line parallel to the x <coughs> dimension, the x axis. That's a half inch down. <coughs> He's going to mark off the same procedure that we've illustrated up here, making off a square as a half inch in diameter for that circle. He's going to sketch that out. I'm going to go through, draw the diagonals, just like we've drawn for the driver's side window and for the wheel well. Now, I should mar mention here, we're showing you the front wheel well. We expect you to follow the same procedure to make the rear wheel well. This procedure is the exact same. We're just going to draw it in the back. Likewise, we're also going to show you how to make one headlight, but we're not going to do the second one. We'll leave the second headlight for you to finish for your homework assignment along for this video module. All right, again, Professor Specht is now marking off these points where the circle will connect with the square and the diagonals. So he's completed that. <clears throat> so this now marks off the truck body. And we're showing you here what the final truck sketch will look like when you finish off both wheel wells, the driver's window and both headlights. Professor Specht is adding in some depth to the driver's side window. So this is what your completed sketch should look like. And if you'll notice when we hold up the one-to-one -one scale truck body, you'll notice that they are the same size and this looks the same. Now, if you had chosen a different scale at the beginning, your sketch would be slightly different. This concludes the third module on isometric drawings. Please follow along. and. We thank you for watching this video. Thanks very much.